Hey guys, Break here, and today I'm going to be talking about the top five best places for gold making information on the internet. These are places where I think you can go and just find out some really cool, up to date information that could be making you a lot of gold on your server, and it's just really useful stuff that I use, and hopefully you guys can use as well. Now we will start with the most obvious one, and that is YouTube. Obviously, you guys know about this because you're on it watching this video. So it's an obvious place to go for gold making information. I'm obviously going to say it's great because uh, that's what I publish my videos on. And there's lots and lots of guys that you should check out. I have done videos in the past about sort of my top five wow gold making YouTubers. That was quite a long time ago, and I'd probably do it a lot differently now. But anyway, we do have a lot of people who you guys should check out if you haven't already. Obviously, you've got the farming guys, so Student Albatross, Want to Buy Gold, Shark and 808, those kind of people. They're really good for any sort of farming stuff that you might be interested in. Then there's the more general guys, people who are kind of a bit more like me, who like to craft, who like to flip stuff, all of those guys. So people like Samadan plays WoW, who also does a lot of streaming as well, the kind of crafting stuff, check out him. People like Hickons as well, make sure you check him out. He's got some really cool stuff. He does a lot of flipping and all of that. And I always watch his videos because he makes an absolute ton of gold, a lot more than I do. So you best listen to him. But there's just loads and loads of guys. and We're not going to go over them all here, but make sure you check out the whole of YouTube guys. Don't just check out the big guys. Obviously, the big guys are great, but you want to check out some smaller guys as well. Darkshore Capital, I've been watching a few of his videos recently. Very new to the whole YouTube thing. Only has 22 subscribers. But why don't you guys go check this guy out because he actually does some really, really interesting videos, some sort of theory crafting and all that. So it's very interesting stuff. Anyway, apart from YouTube, there are also some really good other sources that get you information a lot more quickly than any YouTube video does. And usually is a bit more niche and usually is a bit more specific. So you can really, really make a lot more gold potentially from other sources rather than just the YouTube that everyone sees. So first of all, we're going to talk about Twitter. So I don't know if you guys have Twitter. I never got Twitter for ages and ages. I didn't really think it would be for me. But since I've got it, I've been obsessed with it. It's really, really cool. It's great for seeing what people are doing, following all my different interests, and it's really, really cool. But yeah, I'm on Twitter, and loads of the big gold makers are on Twitter. But there's also some other people on Twitter that don't make videos at all, and they have some really valuable information that you can learn. So if you do get it, make sure you follow people like the Gold Queen, post loads and loads every day, some really interesting stuff. Obviously, we've got the Lazy Gold Maker as well, who will actually talk about the Gold Queen and the Lazy Gold Maker later for something else. But they are really, really good on Twitter, post some cool stuff. Other people you should definitely check out on Twitter, people like Mogs Addiction. This person has every single server on the US and a ton of gold on every single server. I just can't believe how crazy that is, having gold on every server and having a whole sort of army of alts, one on every server. It's just crazy. I thought I was crazy with my 12 servers. This guy's got 119 realms, which is just ridiculous. But he does post some really interesting stuff, some really cool things, especially in terms of finding really nice cheap snipes, posting some really cool mailboxes, all of that good stuff. So definitely check them out. Then there's people like Reth Reth Reth, Billy Vardis. So I have talked about this guy quite a lot before. Actually, the person who first inspired me to start selling pets a few years ago because they did a massive post on Reddit, which we're going to talk about later again. But yeah, this guy is really, really cool. Posts some awesome mailboxes with some crazy sales. Again, this person's on loads of servers. I don't think quite as many as Mog's Addiction, but still on a ton of servers and is an absolute expert in anything to do with pets and also BOE flipping. So if you are interested in selling pets, definitely this guy is someone to follow. But yeah, guys, Twitter is a really cool place to get information super, super quick. And if there's anything crazy that happens in the gold making community where you just have to get on it ASAP, then Twitter is probably the first place you'll hear about it. And it's just really useful for that kind of thing. Next up, we have Reddit. I've talked about this a bit before as well, but this is my favorite place in the entire world for any gold making discussion and gold making information. The WoW Economy subreddit is really big. As you can see, over 50,000 readers and it's growing every day. You all know about Gumdrops, who runs the thing. Also a member of the TSM team. Pretty sure he works for like Twitch now or something crazy like that. I don't think it's Twitch actually, but he just stream on Twitch and he does some crazy stuff. Anyway, he is really, really good. And this subreddit is really, really cool. Funny side note, I just deleted TubeBuddy literally a couple of minutes ago. And look at the ad that's being shown on WoW Economy for me. 
the internet is a scary place, isn't it? For those of you who maybe don't use Reddit, I'd just like to say that I don't use Reddit at all, apart from literally for this one subreddit, and it's really, really useful. It's really, really easy to use, and I just love it. And it's just the same with Twitter for me as well. You know, I never used to use Twitter, started using it for the gold making, and now I love it. So you should give these things a chance, guys, even if you don't think you'd enjoy them. They can be very, very useful. And when I'm looking for some sort of discussion on a gold making topic for a video, I'll often post on here, or at least I'll search and see if someone else has posted about it. It will often be loads of comments about it, lots of people talking about their experiences, and it's just so useful, guys, so make sure you check it out. Next up, guys, and something that's kind of related to the WoW Economy subreddit is Discord, and in particular, the WoW Economy Discord. Now, I'll put this in a different sort of place to the subreddit, because I think Reddit and Discord are very different. Discord is obviously a lot more immediate and a lot more kind of like a live chat. And I really don't use Discord as much as other people. I know some people just love Discord. I really don't use it at all. However, I do use the WoW Economy Discord quite a bit, and it is so useful, guys. You can ask a question about anything, guys, and there'll usually be someone there to answer it. In fact, there's always someone there to answer it. There's 7,000 people online right now, and there's tons of other people. There's tons of content creators that you can actually talk to. There's actually people who work for Blizzard, maybe most valuable goblins people like that people who have a load of knowledge people who work for tsm so there's just so many things you can do especially if you have tsm questions this is a great place to get a kind of immediate answer and you can also just ask any question particularly useful guys when a new patch hits or particularly at the start of battle for azeroth when a lot of people maybe have hit max level before you and they're talking about the things that are making them the most gold maybe you can't play till the weekend you can go on here you can see what people are talking about and it'd be a great way to kind of get you prepared so then when you can play at the weekend you log on you know exactly what to do based on other people's experiences on other servers people are just so useful guys the whole sort of economy and gold making community in general is just so helpful and they're so nice and they'll always be willing to help you out and there's people like hickons who talks on here loads and loads and loads and he's always willing to help you out so make sure you do go on here and check this out even if you're not big on discord it is really useful and there are lots of other gold making places as well rather than just the wow economy on discord you can find loads and loads of stuff i like multi-boxing as you guys know and i'm a member of one of the multi-boxing discords which is quite cool there's just loads of stuff guys so do make sure you come and check it out and you won't regret it i'm sure and finally, what I think is the most sort of underused place for gold making information on the internet is the blogs. Now, a lot of you may think blogs are kind of dead or they're not that useful anymore or no one uses them, no one blogs about anything anymore, it's all just YouTube. Well, actually, no, blogs are still around. In fact, they seem to be becoming more popular, or at least I'm noticing them more. I don't know if they're becoming more popular or not. But lots of people don't like to watch just videos and they like the information straight up. It's often a lot easier to portray information with pictures and text rather than just speaking. And I certainly find it more useful sometimes just to read something rather than watch something. And I love the blogs for this kind of thing. So one of my favorite gold making blogs is from the Lazy Gold Maker. Now this guy, he posts a lot on Reddit as well, and he's on a lot of my servers actually in game, and he is really, really good at making gold. And he posts a lot of stuff from the kind of ethics of gold making, basics of gold making, you know, the kind of mindsets. But he actually posts some really cool gold cap challenge kind of things. He also posts some really cool guides on TSM and how to set it up for certain things. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. Really easy to understand, guys. Really easy to use and you guys will not regret checking this guy out. Now we also have people like the Gold Queen. This is someone who we already talked about on Twitter. She uses Twitter a lot, but also has a really, really cool blog. That's the main thing she does is her blog. And it's really, really impressive. Got so many guides, lots of TSM guides, lots of Battle for Azeroth guides have been coming out. She also have lots of videos as well for her Patreons. And similar to Lazy Gold Maker, the kind of blogs of gold making really allow you to express yourself a bit more, I think. And rather than just a very factual sort of video, the kind of blogs really allow you to look into this philosophical, ethical side of gold making. So here she is talking about gold farmers on YouTube and the easy video guides being born because people really want to just get out those gold per hour guides. And yeah, very interesting stuff. So you can make sure you check her out. But yeah, it's not just the sort of famous or well-known guys. Again, you should check out the less well-known people 
because sometimes they'll uncover something that not a lot of people know about and it will actually be more useful for you in terms of making gold than it is watching one of the big guys on YouTube like myself. Maybe checking out a kind of unknown blogger would be much more useful for you. So I'm going to talk about this one guy here, Jack the Dipper, who actually was fortunate enough to feature me in one of their blogs recently, which was very nice of him. And yeah, it's really cool stuff. Just talking again about general gold making stuff, obviously the specific guides and the kind of TSM guides, but then also the more kind of general philosophical, ethical, interesting kind of points as well. Loads and loads of different things that these bloggers can look at. And if you have a spare moment, you're just sitting on the toilet, you're doing whatever, maybe you guys can check these people out because they're really interesting reads. Anyway, guys, so that is going to be that for this video as someone just came and killed all my auctioneers. But yeah, I hope you found it useful. Obviously, I would love you guys to keep watching YouTube. And I do think that YouTube is great, hence why I make videos. But I would just like to encourage you to check out the other forms of content that are out there, particularly the other bits of social media like Twitter and Discord. And the more interesting written forms of content that there are on Reddit and on the blogs. Because I think you guys will find it very interesting. And like I say, a lot less people use those. So there's a lot less competition for the techniques that they talk about. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, see ya.